Meghan Markle seems to have captivated Australians in her short stay down under, but back home, trouble is brewing with an influential broadcaster labeling her a fake and a phony. Former tabloid editor Piers Morgan, now Good Morning Britain host, was scathing about the Duchess of Sussex in a live-to-air rant on UK television this morning, local time. The hosts were talking about the royal tour of Australia, and looking at vision of the couple's visit to drought-stricken Dubbo when Morgan unleashed on the 37-year-old. She is an actress. She's acting great at the moment. Not long afterwards, Morgan tweeted a picture of a mesmerized Meghan looking at Prince Harry with the caption, Once an actress. Morgan's hosts teased him about Meghan ignoring him one night they crossed paths in London, but he said that had nothing to do with it. Co-host Susanna Reid said, You still can't let it go, can you Pierce? The fact she left the pub that day and never spoke to you ever again. He denied that was the case. It's a red light when people behave like that, in an odd manner, the axe came down, as it did with the dad, axed, every one of her family, worrying. Some Twitter users thought his comments were funny, but most praised Meghan for ignoring him. I don't blame Meghan ignoring her family. After seeing the way they have all behaved I would too. As for ignoring peers, I feel for anyone who comes into contact with him," one said. Another wrote, as much as I hate at Pierce Morgan he is TV gold. His comments about Meghan Kardashian Markle were hilarious. Meghan fans would have been pleased to see Morgan got a pie in the face in a later, unrelated segment on the show. Meanwhile, the Duchess is hardly likely to worry about Morgan given the reaction she and Harry are getting wherever they go in Australia. In Dubbo, Prince Harry spoke to the crowd about the need for a community to stick together. You must not silently suffer and, if I may speak personally, we are all in this together, because asking for help was one of the best decisions I ever made. I just think that it's lovely that they got off the beaten track and came out to Dubbo to speak with people affected by the drought," Warren Farmer Audrey Weston told Op. He offered to stay for two weeks so we could have some more of the rain. Their first official engagement in Dubbo was at the dedication of a new plane for the Royal Flying Doctor Service. They ended the day with a visit to the Dubbo College senior campus. School captain Grace Gower said they felt privileged the royal couple chose their school to visit, and were also grateful they brought the rain. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have been tacked for announcing their happy news, on International Pregnancy and Infant Loss Remembrance Day. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry revealed via Kensington Palace this morning they are expecting their first child together in spring 2019. A spokesman said, Their Royal Highnesses are very pleased to announce the Duchess of Sussex is expecting a baby in spring 2019. Their Royal Highnesses very much appreciate all of the support they have received from people around the world since their wedding in May and are delighted to be able to share their happy news. The Queen Duke of Edinburgh, Prince of Wales, Duchess of Cornwall and Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are delighted for the couple and were able to congratulate them on Friday at the wedding in person. Ms Doria Ragland is very happy about the lovely news and she looks forward to welcoming her first grandchild. Meghan is in good health and has had a successful 12-week scan, with news of the pregnancy coming just five months after she married Prince Harry at Windsor Castle on May 19. But hundreds of upset mothers have flooded Twitter to criticize the timing of the announcement, saying it could not have come on a worse day. At Gina 1968 tweeted, A bit insensitive if you ask me. It's baby loss and bereavement day. At Lane Burrow 77 replied, Absolutely. Prince Harry and hashtag Meghan announce excitement at hashtag pregnancy on baby loss and bereavement day. Hashtag Meghan Markle at pregnant. And I thought it was bad enough that they couldn't wait more than three days to knock Eugenie back into place. Hashtag appalling to me. At Mags underscore Griffin added, was just about to tweet the same thing. Of all the days to release the news, very insensitive. At Kensington Royal. At Josh Rippin tweeted, really thoughtful of Harry and Meghan to announce their pregnancy on baby loss awareness day. Hashtag infertility sucks hashtag baba loss awareness hashtag pregnancy hashtag miscarriage hashtag trauma. 
but Ruth Bender Atik, national director of the Miscarriage Association, which aims to raise awareness around pregnancy loss, defended Meghan and Harry, insisting they were probably unaware of the significance of today. She said, I imagine they didn't know. I think it's as simple as that. For many people who have the deep sadness and grief of losing a baby, there was also that moment of joy when they wanted to announce their pregnancy. I can understand how people feel. It can be deeply hurtful but I have to be sure they had no idea of the significance of the day. Kensington Palace declined to comment. International Pregnancy and Infant Loss Remembrance Day marks pregnancy loss and infant death, including miscarriage, stillbirth, sudden infant death syndrome and any death of a newborn. It is observed each year in the UK, Canada, the US, Norway, Italy and Kenya, as well as the Australian states of Western Australia and New South Wales. Last night, Meghan and Harry arrived in Sydney for the start of their first global royal tour, which will see them take in Australia, Fiji, Tonga, and New Zealand. As well as being International Pregnancy and Infant Loss Remembrance Day, today, October 15, also marks the end of Baby Loss Awareness Week, which began on October 9 and remembers the lives of babies lost in pregnancy or soon after birth. Too Funny Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's titles are the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, and now, they're heading to their royal namesake. That's right, the duo is set to visit Sussex, England on Wednesday, October. 3 For the first time together, Kensington Palace announced on Thursday, September 27. During the visit to their royal namesake, Harry, 34, and Meghan, 37, will, casually, visit historic Sussex Declaration open a tech park, and visit with locals from the town, which is about 30 miles from London. On top of that, the newlyweds will be shown a Sussex copy of the American Declaration of Independence. Fancy! Harry and Meghan were previously given their Duke and Duchess of Sussex titles from Queen Elizabeth the morning of their memorable wedding last spring. This morning it was announced that Prince Harry and Ms. Meghan Markle will become known as their Royal Highnesses the Duke and Duchess of Sussex the royal family shared on the morning of Saturday, May 19. Months before their wedding, royal historian Marlene Koenig predicted their royal titles to Royal Central. Most likely, he will be created a duke. Sussex is available so, Meghan, would be HRH the Duchess of Sussex, she explained. Her rank would be a princess by marriage of the UK, Great Britain, and Northern Ireland. The title of Duke of Sussex was last held by Prince Augustus Frederick, the sixth son of King George III, and had not been claimed since his death in 1843. It was rumored that William would receive the title upon his marriage in 2011, but since he became Duke of Cambridge instead, many assumed that Sussex would be kept for Harry. We can't wait for their visit to Sussex, here's hoping for picks. Prince Harry has spoken out for the first time since news broke of Meghan Markle's pregnancy. The Duke of Sussex thanked the Governor-General and Lady Cosgrove at Admiralty House for their hospitality at an afternoon reception, before speaking about Meghan's pregnancy. Good day Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, he began. It is obviously great to be back in Australia and even more so because this is my wife's first visit here so I'm very excited to show her this wonderful country of yours. Australia is of course home to some of the world's best sporting talent, but what you are about to see at these Invictus Games will, quite literally, astound you. During the speech, he spoke of his love for the country, and said he was thrilled he and Meghan got to share their pregnancy news while in Australia. He added, a demonstration of the power of the human spirit, the power of sport to change lives and the power of feeling part of all of this from the stands. There really is something for everyone. Thank you Your Excellency and Lady Cosgrove for giving us your magnificent home for the week. We are inviting all of our mates in Sydney. Finally, we are both absolutely delighted to be here. We are really impressed to see you serving beer and tea at an afternoon reception in true Aussie style. We couldn't think of a better place to announce the upcoming baby. Yesterday, 
Kensington Palace officially confirmed that the Duchess of Sussex was expecting. Their Royal Highnesses the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are very pleased to announce that the Duchess of Sussex is expecting a baby in the spring of 2019, they shared on Twitter. The news came after it was revealed that Meghan gave her first major sit-down interview since joining the royal family. Previously, New Idea learned that the palace was talking in riddles without stating the obvious before the royal tour to Australia and New Zealand before she was given the three-month all-clear. Oh, <laughs> my